Hey, what's going on guys, Siptesh here. Welcome back to the channel. So I finally got the Lenovo's 230 watt power adapter over here. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna address a few things. I'm gonna talk about how you can get this power adapter. It doesn't cost anything and I got it really quickly. And also uh, how this power adapter affects, basically does it solve the problems or not? And also the main point that I'm gonna address is regarding the, you know, the Lenovo locks, especially the Intel models, uh, getting bricked like the motherboard uh, is you know popping basically the motherboard is dying and uh, yeah I'm gonna address that issue but before all that if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and turning on notifications also join our telegram community to discuss further and get alerted on the best tech deals the earliest with that said guys let's get going okay so first let's talk about the adapter so this is the 230 watt adapter it's much bigger in size compared to the 170 watt power adapter it's much it's much heavier it's it's wider and bigger in every dimension plus this adapter comes with this one second so this adapter comes with this massive you know 16 amp plug which is completely useless completely needless in this um, for this adapter basically it's it's way overkill so you can get a normal plug from the shop so i got let me show you uh so i got this uh, you know normal plug from the shop i just you know this is just only around uh 50 rupees or so so i just use this plug instead of that big one because i have nowhere to plug that one so yeah uh, these plugs are enough for around you know 400 watts or so because you can use these plugs in like electric kettles and stuff so no need to worry about power delivery and stuff this is plenty capable all right so uh first of all how you can order get this uh, um, lenovo adapter it's pretty easy you have to call this number over here i'm flashing over here this is the premium support number you call them just tell them that hey you've got this laptop and when you're playing games in performance mode or higher, uh, the battery is draining even though you're plugged in. And do tell them that you are running the latest BIOS. So basically I called them and I told them that, hey, I've got this Lenovo lock. Uh, this is the uh, configuration. Whenever I'm playing games in performance mode or higher, I'm I'm losing battery life. Uh, battery battery is draining even though I'm plugged in. I am, in the, I am at the latest BIOS, which is BIOS version 34. And uh, so I would like to request a uh, the bigger 230 watt adapter. So he heard all these things and uh, he just registered my complaint and he asked me to confirm the BIOS once again. So I told him that version 34 and so he said like, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, fine. So he didn't even like, he didn't even like, you know, come like ask me to share the screen or something and check the BIOS and stuff. He didn't ask for any proof whatsoever. He took my complaint and then he asked me to generate a couple of reports which he will guide you how to do. One is your uh, you know, your battery diagnostic report. So, I mean, your entire hardware diagnostic report. So you have to go into Lenovo Vantage and generate that report. And the other one is your battery, you know, usage report, which you can generate using a command prompt. He'll tell you the command. You just run the command and you just generate the file. And the third thing is it'll, he'll ask you uh, for a simple screenshot of your uh, battery usage from the uh, settings menu. That's all. And he doesn't even like, you know, analyze those things because he was registering my complaint as I was generating that. So he'll send you a mail, uh, you attach all these screenshots uh, to the mail and then just reply to the mail. Uh, so basically what happened was I uh, raised the complaint at around, uh, I think it was 10 p.m. or so at night. And the next day at 12 uh, noon or so, I got a confirmation about the shipping. Someone called me and confirmed the uh, you know destination address, shipping address. And basically the next day around, uh, again, around 2 p.m. or so, I received the adapter. So basically, you know, just over 24 hours, I got the adapter after raising the complaint. So the whole ordeal took only like 24 hours, like little more than 24 hours. And like they didn't ask for any kind of proof or anything. So Lenovo probably now knows about this thing. So they are just shipping the adapter without any without any, without much hassle. So that's cool. Next up regarding performance. First of all, guys, as expected, there is no difference in performance. I've tested five games and there is only margin of error difference. Okay. So there is no performance difference because earlier also we were reaching the power targets, but it's just that it was using the battery power to you uh, to reach that power target. It was using both the AC adapter and the battery power to reach that power target. But right now we are able to reach the power, same power target with just the uh, with just the adapter. And so basically there is no difference in performance as expected. Okay. 
Anyways, this is an RTX 4060 and RTX 4060 barely needs more than 90 watt to perform at its full potential. So yeah, as expected, there is no difference in performance. All right. Now the main point is, does it solve the battery drain problem? So yes, it definitely solves it. So earlier, as you can see over here, uh, you know, if you play games at even, even in balanced mode, uh, you will start to drain battery life, you know, within two minutes or so your battery will drain to from hundred percent to 97% in like three minutes. Okay. So uh, after that, when you use this bigger 230 watt power adapter, as, I, as I'm showing you, as you can see, it doesn't drop battery. Now, as you can see over here, yes, we are at 100%, but if you open Hardware Info 64, you can see that our battery percentage is dropping slowly. But I, would do, but I want to clarify you that this is not a battery drain of any sort. This is 100%, like I'm 100% sure that this is some kind of, uh, you know, battery protection that Lenovo is applying in the background, because you can see the charge rate is zero watt. It is neither negative, neither it is positive. So it's basically not charging, but instead it is like some kind of applying some kind of cap uh, on the battery capacity, which is why the battery percentage is, is dropping slowly. So, you know, in at around uh, 40 minutes of usage at maximum power draw at, you know, using custom mode 155 plus watts, and you can see it dropped only 1% or so. So uh, this is not any kind of battery drop, but rather some kind of battery protection that is uh, in place because obviously you're pushing a lot of power plus charging the battery is generating a lot of heat as well. So it's some kind of battery protection because even when I stop the game, as you can see, I have closed the game and still the battery is stuck at 98%. It doesn't charge. So if you now close the laptop, uh, cool it down for some time, then it will charge back to 100%. So this is not, not some kind of battery drain. So don't worry about that. Essentially, what I should say is that battery drain problem has been solved after using this 230 watt power adapter. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. Okay. Now what about charging? So let's say your battery is now at around, uh, you know, let's say at 50% uh, or so, as you can see over here, currently I'm playing at uh, using the quiet mode and you can see the battery is getting charged pretty fast. As you increase the performance level, you go to balanced or performance mode. You can see the battery charge percentage, you know, the, the, the battery, the charging speed drops And that's expected because again, you're pushing a lot of power. Uh, it has to balance everything. So it still charges, but at a much slower rate, it doesn't rapid charge. But as soon as you stop the game, it will start charging, charging rapidly once again. Okay. And if you're not gaming, but instead doing some kind of productivity workload, like you are like running blender render. So as you can see over here, I am continuously running the blender render, but still you can see the battery is getting charged. No, no problem. Okay. And this is maximum performance mode, by the way, and still it's getting charged. Essentially the battery drain issue while gaming has been solved with this 230 watt power adapter. So yeah. And finally, I like to address the issue about, you know, the motherboard dying issue. Okay. This is a pretty serious issue right now. And, uh, first of all, I like to say that what I'm seeing is that the locks, which are affected 
by this issue is mostly the Intel 13th gen and 14th gen CPUs, okay? Uh, mainly the HX uh, CPUs that are getting affected, the motherboards with the HX CPUs. Now there are a lot of rumors and stuff that is flowing up, floating around. Some are saying that Lenovo has cheaped out on the motherboard and uh, uh, some are saying that it's because Intel uses more power. So that's why, you know, the power supply uh, on the motherboard is breaking. Uh, a lot of rumors and stuff, okay? These are all speculations. Nobody has the data from Lenovo as to why it is breaking because let me tell you guys, the AMD locks are not affected. Now some may say that, uh, that the AMD locks are, uh, you know, power revision and what, but that's not the, that's not the, uh, that's not the answer guys, because no matter what lock you're using, whether you're using the AMD RTX 4050 40 lock or using the Intel RTX 4050 40 lock, all of them have the same power targets at the end of the day. If you're using performance mode, it's like 135 watt. If you're using extreme mode, it's like 165 watt. And if you're using custom mode, then you can use whatever power you wish. All right, uh, between you know up to 165 watt, you can use whatever you wish. Okay, so it's not because of uh, you know as if AMD is more efficient or anything. Because at the end of the day, when you're playing games, all the locks have uh, have the same power targets, have the same total CPU, GPU power target, okay? So I don't think it's because of that. And I don't know why it's breaking, okay? What I suspect is that a large batch of uh, motherboards for the 13th and 14th gen have manufacturing defects. That is what I think, okay? Um, and how you can avoid that? Some people are saying undervolt and this and that. No, you can't avoid that. It is a defect on the motherboard. If your motherboard is supposed to die, it will die no matter what you do, okay? Now, again, do I recommend the lock? Once again, guys, this is something that you must decide. The lock has great performance. It's overall provides a good value for money. Right now, the lock is more expensive because the coupon scenario is not the best, but you know, I've got the lock for, uh, you know, around 72,000 rupees, you know, including the cashback and stuff. So I have also purchased three years warranty. So I have seen the, you know, uh, dangers, but I still purchased it because for me, it's really suitable. Okay. I, I can't find a better deal than this. I have also bought three years of warranty just for cautionary measures. And this is the 12th generation lock, 12 hx which I have limited issues. I haven't seen much of an issue with this particular lock. Uh, most of the issues are with 13th and 14th gen, but again, at the end of the day, no matter what lock you're purchasing, AMD lock even, or Intel lock, whatever, purchase with caution. That's all I'm saying. Get the warranty, you know, make yourself safe. Uh, that's all I can say. If you are having any doubt, I would say, either purchase warranty or don't buy the lock. That's simple as that. I can't go around and say that, hey, you should buy it or not, okay? I bought it, I took risk, I bought it with my own money, nobody sends me, uh, and nobody sponsors me. I buy everything with my own money, I review stuff with my own money. So uh, at the end of the day, I purchase it on my own risk. I purchased warranty, extra warranty for this, ADP as well. So yeah, if you wish to purchase a lock, purchase with caution. Uh, or look somewhere else. That's all about this video, guys. Uh, do let me know what lock you have. Are you facing any issue with it? And how is the performance and stuff? AMD lock, Intel lock, whatever you have. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video, guys. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.